Chapter 1 You are listening at FameTV.info Translator Lonely tree the wedding candle flickered under my palm. The flame danced, sparking small flowers in the dark. I smiled and turned around. A red wedding bed with gauze canopy, the setting was perfect. I decorated this wedding room myself. Creak, the door was pushed open from outside. I turned and saw a startled Jing Tian standing at the door. I slowly sauntered towards him in my red wedding dress. The dress was a joint effort between me and the designer in the past two weeks when he was injured. The dress was one of a kind, there would never be a second one like it. From Jing Tian's eyes, I saw his pleasant surprise. This was the first time I took the effort to be pretty for him. Nan Xing he murmured as if in disbelief as he walked to meet me. I stood before him, looked up and smiled into his eyes. Seven years, this man had accompanied by my side for seven years. Seven years ago, I was betrayed by my ex-husband, framed by his mistress, chased out from my family. I had nowhere to go and nothing to live for. Refused to have my six-month-old child bear my tragic fate, I jumped into the sea. It was this man who saved me out from the sea. He called in the best doctors from the world and demanded them to save me no matter what. When I was emotionally unstable and lashed out at others and myself, he was there for me. When I was closed in and repressed, he was there for me. My life force was like an extinguished flame, slowly dying out. He searched through the ruins of my heart for that small bit of spark. He protected it and cherished it. Day by day, week by week, year by year, he used his love to turn that spark into embers. He, was Jing Tian, my ex-husband's youngest uncle, half a month ago, he was hospitalized again to save me. I lost count of how many times that had happened in the past seven years. Loving me had literally wounded him. And my heart started to revive with the blood that he shed after so many lows, he was still standing before me, using his life to love me. If I still didn't know how to appreciate that, I would be the dumbest woman alive. Jing Tian's hand slowly, carefully caressed my face, do I look pretty? I asked him, you do. Jiang Tian answered softly. His eyes focused on my face, like a child enthralled by a candy. I smiled, joyfully. Jing Tian, the seventh master of the Jing family, he was a man who could shake the whole M city with a shake of his head. He was rumored to be a cold-hearted man, an azura from hell, but before me, he was gentle and kind, even a little naive and clumsy. I held his hands and pulled them to my face. His fingers were fair and tapered. They curled from anxiousness. Jing Tian, what great deed have I done to have encountered someone like you? Will you make me the happiest woman in the world and marry me? Will you allow me to be your life partner? Jing Tian's hands gripped into fists, I could feel his muscles tense. Nan Xing. What, say that again? The man uttered in a ginger tone as if a louder volume might shatter the illusion of the moment. I put down his wrists and hugged him tightly around his waist. I leaned into his chest and looked up at him, Jing Tian, will you marry me? Jing Tian's hands fell on the back of my back to pull me into him. He said urgently, Yes, I'm willing. Nan Xing, of course I will. I laughed. As I saw the pure joy in his eyes, the laughter turned into tears. Jing Tian, I'm sorry. I'm already ruined. If there's a next life, I promise to surrender my best self to you. Jing Tian hugged me tightly to his chest. No, Nan Xing, it's my fault for letting them harm you. In all the future iterations of our lives, I promise to arrive in your life sooner, so that you'd be spared from all the hardship. I promised him my next life and he gave him all his future lives in return. What more could I ask for in a husband that I stood on tiptoe, circled my arms around his neck to pull him lower so I could land a kiss on his lips. His lips were soft and gentle, just like his person. Jing Tian shivered and then the world fell away underneath me. I gasped involuntarily and held on to Jing Tian's neck. 
he had carried me into his arm. While I was surprised, his lips pried open my mouth. I could feel his body burning up. In the past seven years, no matter how desperate he was, Jing Tian had been a perfect gentleman, he never once crossed the line. But now, I could feel his rising desire clearly. Using the last remnant of his rationality, he laid me down lightly on the wedding bed. He climbed on top of me and growled through his lips, Nan Xing, may I? I smiled and caressed his handsome face. I leaned forward to bite on his earlobe before whispering. Jing Tian, make me your woman. The dress ripped under his force. His palm landed on my exposed skin and my heart tingled from excitement. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.